Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. In a previous video in this series, we looked at how we could turn AC electricity into DC electricity by the use of diodes. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at how we can take that rather bumpy, uneven DC waveform and turn it into something that is a little bit smoother, something that resembles a much purer DC waveform. So we're going to achieve that by using capacitors. And what we'll do is we'll bring the video in up close to the equipment that we'll get set up and the circuit that we'll get set up, and we'll see how we achieve that. Now, if we look back at our DC waveform that we've created, we can see that this DC waveform is really quite kind of lumpy. We want to get a nice smooth line across here, as smooth as we can get it. And at the minute, it's very bumpy. Now, a lot of electronic circuits won't like a bumpy waveform like that. We want to get it nice and smooth. And the way we achieve that is by introducing a capacitor into the circuit. Now, this is a capacitor that I've got here. Uh, this is the symbol for a capacitor. And this is, as you can see, a 470 nanofarad capacitor. Now, this works by storing a little bit of electrical charge and then discharging it. So we're going to introduce a slightly larger uh, value of capacitor here. So here we've got a 47 microfarad capacitor. Now you'll notice the symbol is ever so slightly different and that's because this is what's called an electrolytic capacitor and we've got to be careful about how we connect this up the polarity of this. So on this circuit we've got the positive rail up here as you can see. So we'll connect it that way around with the positive side of the capacitor connected into the positive side of the circuit. So we'll connect this in and we'll have a look at what happens to the waveform on our oscilloscope. So look at the change there now. So what happens is that during this part of the cycle, the capacitor is charging up. And then as the current starts to drop away from the input, the current will discharge from the capacitor and it will discharge quite slowly, which means that we can start to see we're sort of smoothing off this bumpy waveform. You can see it doesn't go all the way to the bottom there now. It now uh, goes to about there. So that's really quite helpful because we've now got a smoother DC waveform. And we can actually make that even smoother by introducing larger values of capacitance. So look at that now. We're well above uh, that first line there now. So we can see that the DC waveform is getting smoother and smoother. And then we'll introduce the biggest capacitor that we've got in this kit. Okay, so we'll remove these two and we'll put this capacitor in and watch what happens now to the DC waveform. You can see there that it's pretty much completely smooth, yeah? So we've got now a smoothed, rectified current. It's changed from AC, where it's constantly changing direction. Now it is a DC supply, so it's only going one way, and we've smoothed it off, so it's getting closer and closer to being a really nice, smooth DC supply there. And you may also just have noticed, out of interest, I'll just connect this up slightly differently this time. If you look at the brightness of the lamp when we connect this big capacitor in, you'll see, you might be able to see it actually gets a little bit brighter there when we connect that up. Now we'll have a little bit of an explanation as to why that's happening in a future video when we talk about RMS of AC waveforms. So we've got our DC circuit here, which hopefully you've copied down and you have clearly in your mind now. If you want to memorize that, try drawing it a few times have the diodes all pointing in the same direction in a sort of diamond shape like that and just remember your AC goes in top and bottom and your DC comes out on the left and right there. Thank you very much for watching.